The volunteers and racers with Wassa Whitewater are looking for answers after a number of items were stolen from the kayak course over the weekend. As they prepare for another big competition this weekend, extra security is a top priority. News Channel 7's Brianna Weaver joins us live from Wausau's Whitewater Park. Bree, how are volunteers preparing to keep their gear safe for this weekend's competition? Jeff and Cassandra, volunteers with Wausau Whitewater tell me they plan to take every precaution this weekend to make sure their gear is not stolen again. Paddles, boats, helmets, life vests, those are just some of the items that racers found missing Saturday morning at Wausau's Whitewater Park. During competitions, many racers camp with their gear near the kayak course. People were here, we were sleeping. This, this was in the middle of the night. When competition began on Saturday morning, competitors were concerned about how they were going to be able to race. Luckily, the Whitewater community is incredibly helpful. The community rallied and we borrowed gear to each other. The boats largely come in several different models from several brands and several sizes, but all told, it's not that much. Almost everybody who's here with one size and type of boat, someone else does have the same one. Marino estimates the items taken are valued at anywhere between ten to fifteen thousand dollars. It's expensive gear. It's not valuable to most people because it takes an extremely specific skill set to use. Marino says the police were notified and provided extra patrols for the remainder of the weekend. They've also notified all the pawn shops in case the items would happen to show up. But with the Team USA qualifiers and time trials coming up this weekend, keeping gear safe is on Marino's mind now more than ever before. We've even uh, decided that we're going to hold night watch and people are taking one to two hour shifts through the night as they're willing and we're up all night. So we'll be ready and waiting to call the police. As word of the thefts gets around, Marino says the support from the community has been incredible. As the paddlers have come back from shopping in the community, they've uh, already told me tales of, you know, we heard at Quick Trip, everybody's watching out for our stuff, or we were over at this store and everybody's just really supportive and trying to help us find our gear, which is great. Marino tells me he's still excited for this weekend's competition and the chance to show paddlers from across the country what an incredible Wausau, Whitewater Park Wausau has. In Wausau, Brianna Weaver, News Channel 7. I tell you